What's good everybody, it's your boy Eddie and welcome back to the channel and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. In today's video, we'll be reviewing a sneaker that I find to be very interesting and a silhouette that I've never reviewed on this channel before. So with that being said guys, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as that notification bell. And what we got right here is none other than the Soul Goods and Jordan Airship and the Prove Yourself colorway. And I have to say overall, when it comes to the quality of this sneaker, I definitely think that the craftsmanship is very high because when you look at the suede textures, it definitely has that backstroke motion as well as some hairy suede details. But there's one material on the sneaker that I'm not a fan of, which is the mesh on this toe box because I believe that if it was to have a suede toe box as well, this would be a super banger. But anyways, guys, before I get into the details of the sneaker, let's just go right into the box details pretty briefly. And I'm really not sure because again, I've never reviewed viewed or had an airship other than the Amama Nairs in hand. And of course, with the Amama Nair airships, you have more of that Amama Nair branding on it. But guys, definitely let me know if all of the airships come in this kind of Jordan International box, because I do think that that is a very dope detail that they have different cities, different countries all over the box, and just represents how worldwide Michael Jordan actually is. And I love that you have some Tokyo details, Cincinnati, Beijing, and just many different cities and countries all over the box. And I think that's a very nice touch. Now, I'm focusing on to this side of the box, you can see that sticker tag right there and it does read off as jordan airship pesp and i actually went with my true to size of a size eight and i have to say that true to size definitely fits perfect for me but i can see how with some people that are a little bit more wide foot they may have to go a half size up because it is perfectly stung it's not too tight it's not too loose it just has that perfect fit right there but if you are wide footed i may have to recommend to go a half size up but then again, with the mesh details on the toe box, it might actually expand. So I'm not 100% sure because again, this is my first time actually having an airship. But just to keep it simple, guys, I would say that if you're narrow footed to go true to size, and if you do have a wider foot, definitely go a half size up to be safe. So as you can see, we do have another Air Jordan logo right here, and it does have that same international flight club detail, which I think is pretty nice. And then we also have this custom wax tissue paper right here, which does have this kind of black and white foggy detail. And then on the bottom of the wax tissue paper, you can actually see this cartoon version of Michael Jordan doing the Air Jordan jump logo, which I think is a pretty dope detail. And also something that comes with all of the airships is this nice retro airship card, which pretty much just goes over all of the details of the Nike airship or Jordan airship is what they're calling it for this collaboration. And then you just have all of your design specs as well as history of the shoe, which I think is a pretty dope detail. And I love that they actually include this on the airship as well as the high 85 Air Jordan ones. With that being said, guys, that's pretty much going to conclude all the box details. So now I'm focusing on to the history of this sneaker right here i do have to say that the history is pretty interesting so when you're actually looking at the brand soul goods itself it was founded back in 2016 and it is basically the first mainline china brand to collaborate with nike which is no small feat and something else that i want to mention about soul goods is the fact that for the past four years they've been pumping out collaborations so the first nike collaboration was actually with the converse brand back in 2021 and then in 2022 they dropped one sb dunk high as well as two regular dunk highs which is pretty interesting to note something else that i want to mention about the history of the airship is the fact that the air jordan one released for michael jordan back in 1984 in the beginning of the season and then he debuted them back on november 17th of that same year and then didn't wear them for like a month i believe maybe it was due to the fact that the nba was finding him five thousand dollars a game and that kind of drew to the hype and controversy of the same air jordan one shoe which is pretty fire when you look back at it because that controversy is pretty much what stemmed the hype of the air jordan one and then now the air jordan one is this whole big thing obviously at the current moment the air jordan one isn't the most hype silhouette and maybe that's why this year nike is pumping out a lot of airship collaborations as well as gr releases for this sneaker because it's very similar to the air jordan one there's really not any major differences other than the air jordan logo as well as some small minor details but you still have the same traction pattern the same midsole the same construction of the upper of the silhouette but you know it is what it is on that so with that being said guys that's going to conclude all the history of the airship as well as the soul goods collaboration now let's just focus on to the details of the shoe and i have to say i love the quality i love the craftsmanship and i love the details that are on the shoe except that mesh toe box and then when focusing on that same toe box guys you can see that we have that brown mesh toe box and again i think this is the only weakness that the shoe really has overall because i love the color of the brown on the sneaker as well as the light gray and dark gray hits on it that makes the shoe pop but it's just something about that mesh. I think that if it had that suede that's already all over the shoe, I think it would have been a way better hit, but it is what it is on that guy. Then when focusing onto the mud guard of the shoe, you can see that we do have that beautiful hairy suede detail right there. 
and it is in that light gray colorway, which definitely makes the shoe pop a lot. Then when moving towards the top of the shoe, now you can see that we do have these all black laces right here. But something that I briefly want to mention is the fact that it does come with an extra pair of laces and it is in this brown colorway, but I have to be honest guys, the black laces just look better. But anyways, when looking at the top of the tongue tab, you can see that we do have that Nike Air logo right there. And then on the opposite of the tongue, we do have this nice black padded tongue. However, we do have this extra detail guys. And for anything, I cannot see it. I cannot see whatever these words are. It's very hard for me to see. And even with the B-roll that I took up close and personal, it's impossible for me personally to read what it's saying here. I don't know if it says MS3T, 1, 2T. I, I, I don't know what it's saying, to be honest. But if you guys know what that's actually saying on the underside of this detail, please be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And then some other details that are on the inside of the shoe is the fact that we do have that number eight right there, which it'll be different depending on what size you wear. So I do love that detail right there and pretty much goes back into the past and just gives those retro vintage vibes that the original Air Jordan 1 and a lot of sneakers back then actually have. Then when we actually open the sneaker right here on the inside, you can see that prove yourself detail right there that's embroidered into the sneaker. And I really love that touch. And it's just those subtle little details that actually makes the shoe way more cooler than it already is. Now when focusing back onto the medial side of the shoe, you can see that the rest of the upper comprises of that nice brown suede detail. And it does have that backstroke motion, which is pretty nice. And I really enjoy that. But also something else to note is that the top of the shoe right here, where we would normally see a Nike logo or Air Jordan Wings logo, we do have this Soul Tiger detail. So essentially this is part of the brand ethos from Soul Goods as they are called Soul Goods. This is Soul Tiger and I do love that touch. And then when focusing onto the number five of the shoe in that black and white embroidered detail but after some further research i did read that the embroidered number five is actually inspired from the 1957 film basketball player number five never heard of it in my life but i think that that was pretty cool that they were able to draw some inspiration from a film that was from way back then maybe it's something that they really like or something that they just think would fit on the shoe because as i noticed from their dunk collection they definitely love putting vintage vibes from the 90s and 80s on sneaker collaborations that they do and maybe they just wanted to go further back with this detail right here which is a pretty nice touch now when focusing onto this black hang tag right there we do have another hit of that international flight club but then on the flip side of it we do have that soul tiger detail which i think is a pretty nice touch now when focusing onto the medial side of the shoe guys as you can see the same thing pretty much follows suit as the lateral side and with that being said guys i have about two more details that i want to show before i conclude this review so when focusing onto the midsole of the shoe as you can see it is the same exact midsole that is on the air jordan one literally exactly the same no major differences same one stitching around the whole entire shoe with that same traction pattern on the outsole which i definitely do enjoy on the shoe as well and then the final thing that i do want to mention is the fact that we do have this synthetic leather slash polyurethane insole or whatever material this is it's definitely pretty soft but the top side of it definitely feels like this synthetic leather detail but on it we do have this Jumpman logo right here and i think that's a pretty fire detail but again i do love when these brands and collaborators come together and put these simple little details that for the people that don't own the shoe they may never notice or never see and it's just for the owner of that desired shoe to see and again i just love that very much so with that being said guys that's pretty much going to conclude all the details of the shoe so now let's get right into the zone for look all right So that's going to conclude the review as well as the on for look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for y'all. Definitely let me know what you think about the Jordan Airship and Soul Goods collaboration in the Prove Yourself colorway. Do you think it's fire? Do you think it's dope? Do you think it's trash? Do you think it's whack? I definitely want to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Overall, I think that this sneaker is actually super fire other than that mesh toe box. I do wish that they remain consistent with that suede brown detail and just put it right in the toe box because that nice backstroke motion suede with the hairy suede detail that contrasts the color, that would have been epic in my opinion. But you know, it is what it is on that. Everything can't be perfect all the time. So again, guys, I definitely wanna know your thoughts in the comment section down below. With that being said, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all already know the rest. So I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.